Hello YouTube, it's me, Ethan Blair again, and I'm going to do a quick review on FS for Family Season 1. And before you ask, yep, they yes, they made a DVD release for FS for Family. But they only have Season 1 for now, so that's the only one I'll be able to talk about as of now. Now before you are curious about buying this DVD, I have to warn you that it doesn't have any special features and that doesn't necessarily make it a bad DVD but also another thing about these DVDs is the disc is quite hard to get out actually so if anyone's interested in collecting this you might want to put this disc in like a separate compartment because this is quite thick to get out see I nearly jerked the disc um the only way you can see the episodes is looking on the disc and it has The Bleeding in Sweden and Bloody Saturday. Just two episodes I can think of out of the six. There's only six episodes in the first season, but for nine dollars I can forgive that. And inside the first page we have what appears to be an outline of F is for Family. And it's like, I spent $700 on a TV so I could watch a family be happy, because F is for family. Oh, that's the blank page. This is also shaped like a book, because I think all the Netflix Emmy books, or Netflix Emmy DVDs, are shaped like a book on purpose, to re represent the Emmys, for some reason. Ah, and this is where they hide the disc. They hide it in like an actual single compartment, which is very frustrating. And I'm gonna try and find a way to store this disc somewhere else. But I might just keep it like this since the DVD isn't too bad to get out. It's just annoying. This is the final page. There's only three sides to it, and this one has Frank, Murray, and Sue in bed. And thank all these people for like the DVD release because these guys also worked on the show and everything and it's quite a decent DVD. Overall I think this is a solid set and I would go as far to say the show, the first season of F is for Family is a 7 out of 10. It's fairly mediocre. It's actually one of the funniest shows ever and I could almost call it like a good um a good uh well I don't know how to put it but if you like King of the Hill then you should definitely watch F is for Family cause yeah this show kinda reminds me of King of the Hill with it's kind of humor it's not as good as King of the Hill but it's a good substitute for King of the Hill yeah that's what I'm looking for they also have Bojack Horseman on this DVDs and they have the first three seasons they don't have season four yet which is very unfortunate but I thought the first three seasons were solid enough, so I might get those for Christmas. Yeah, but um, they actually do have a DVD release for BoJack Horseman, but it's only in Australia, and it's only the first season they released in a normal mediocre DVD format, which is very unfortunate, and I don't think that has special features either, so it's pointless. I will try and get BoJack Horseman on DVD, though, since I really love that show and I considered the first three seasons pretty good because also season four was quite a disappointment and it's nice to have like the first three seasons on DVD to celebrate Bojack Horseman like getting a new season um I gotta warn you though that these DVDs are quite expensive and you have to give them in a pre you gotta get a pretty good deal for them in order for them to be worth it if you get two DVDs then maybe it's worth twenty dollars at least and more a little more like maybe 40 bucks if it has two DVDs since these are rare sets but only get these if you really really like these Netflix exclusive shows and if you don't, don't like that there's no bonus features and you are okay with it being these kind of DVDs then they should be fine I'm just glad I can own these on like a physical media and not be forced to pay for Netflix every month even though I still do to see the next BoJack Horseman season but I don't want to keep paying for Netflix all eternity so these are a great substitute for Netflix if you want to show someone this show but they don't have Netflix it's really great for that so 
yeah, this is a all right DVD. I'd say it's about a five out of ten. I would I don't recommend it, though. I wouldn't that I would suggest it, but I also wouldn't recommend it if that makes any sense. It's a mediocre DVD release. Um, I'll continue this later with BoJack Horseman if I get around to it. I probably won't, but I probably will since I really like BoJack Horseman. We'll just have to see. That'll be around in December. All right. If you enjoy this video, um, please subscribe to me and peace.